Among other things, James Dolan is known for his musical ability in JD and the Street Shot. So, since I am the sound guy of the dumpster fire, reason Jack sucks, <laughs> we suck. The NFC East is a league of shame. Anyway, Love. instead of just pointing and laughing at Dolan, let's see if JD and the Straight Shot are really that raucous of a band as he depicts them. After all, they've played Madison Square Garden. Oh, right. In retrospect, it's not uncommon for athletes or people in relations to the sports world to actually try and cross over into music. I mean, it really hasn't proven to be anything with success. Just ask this cringy video behind me of Deion Sanders' Money song or something. Alright, here's the first single I could find called Better Find a Church. God, it sounds like a Creed song. Anyway, let's see if this song's about as good as he runs the Knicks. Better find a church. Better find a zoo. Better search through the night by the light of a sinner's moon. Better find a church. Get on your knees. Uh, I don't even know what to say to this. This is beyond cringe like this is so slathered with like cringe and just jesus as far as like a rock band goes like the only comparison i could think of is that this makes nf look like one of the suicide boys uh anyway let's see what the next song is going to the river to cleanse my soul going to the river because it's black as cold shame and regret on my home Work my fingers to the bone. <laughs> this oh, sounds like if Scott Stepp tried doing like a country blues album. <laughs> this is so cringy. <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we, at some of these glorious YouTube comments. Uh, it's oh, what do you know? He's just a wonder to everyone on YouTube. Everyone loved him so much, and they're all gonna sing "Kumbaya" while the Knicks burn in hell because of Dolan's sins. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Let's see if the iTunes reviews are any better. <laughs> the thing is, like on the YouTube comments, he was able to block everybody from actually saying to sell the team and all this crap. But this is even relentless on iTunes of all platforms. Shout out to this guy for making his username all Knicks fans. <laughs> I don't know if he just wants to block the haters out and continue to make this music despite the fact that nobody inherently likes it, just, he just has a blind eye to any criticism. Wait, what? Whoever you are, be proud. This is the greatest comment ever. <laughs> P.U. I'm sorry, anyway. Uh, pretty safe to say there's almost unanimous hatred for Dolan. Like, pretty bad. I have been a musician for almost a decade. I've never seen this universal lack of talent. Like, wow, this is pretty fucking bad. Anyway, this next song is called Under That Hood. Maybe if we're fortunate, James channeled his inner speed freak and made a kick-ass driving song like a flat on the floor or the 502 from the intro. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Come on, the riff has to come out somewhere. Under that hood, there's no good. Actually, you know what? I think I know what his voice reminds me of. Under that hood. He's no good. Wow, bravo. Genuine song about Volvo ownership and trouble under that hood. Oh, such mastery from Aiden, Jim, and James Dolan. Not only do these lyrics make little to no sense or really have almost no meaning on society, but it just all sounds the same as it goes on. I mean, just look at this one. Doesn't it remind you of anything? It's nature's way of telling you something wrong. Yeah. Any guesses at all? Way of telling you in a song. I know this sounds familiar, you just gotta find it. <laughs> That's all it is. 
<laughs> just sounds like you have to make the bastard blues rock child of Nickelback and whatever the hell you can find. This is so worthless. <laughs> like, Dolan, what do you have to gain out of this? And what the hell's up with this music video? It's the whitest thing I've ever seen. I wasn't talking about the snow. <laughs> I think Dolan is trying to capitalize on that extreme, like, youth who live for snow sports and then go and have a nice coffee at their Starbucks in somewhere like Denver, Colorado. Wow, this is just beyond cringe now. Of your kind. Smile, smile that smile. It's Sears one day only sale. Get your back to school earnings now! All merchandise is 20% off with the added purchase of a Knicks ticket. Oh my fucking god. This makes the band train look as edgy as Metallica. Come on, it can't be cringier than this. I mean, surely Dolan has to exhibit some sort of sanity to prove that he isn't a moron. Right? And here's just another sad but true reminder that this guy owns the fucking Knicks. He made a big noise, and that was called the Valley Who. So I am now going to make a ballyhoo for you.